Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric and today I'm super excited because if you own a MacBook Pro, especially a MacBook Pro with the uh, M1 Pro or M1 Max chip, probably part of what you want to do is be able to use dual displays with that and probably you want to dock it with a Thunderbolt dock that supports dual displays without any issues. And this is a much harder task than you would think it should be for something that costs so much money. This is my first time ever getting a MacBook and uh, I thought I was just going to buy a Thunderbolt dock and it was going to work and be fine. I went through three before I found one that worked and I spent hours and hours and hours online watching videos. One guy bought like five different docks from Amazon to test them all and none of them worked. And I found one that worked, works and works great and also is extremely affordable. Uh, in my research, I found one other one that several people testified is working, but that involves buying a dock that's way more expensive than the one I bought and buying an additional display adapter to add to the dock. So it's like $150, $200 more than uh, what I got mine for. And uh, mine works and it works great and it's worked consistently. So what is this dock? Um, this is it here, and uh, it is the INTPW, I don't know how you say that, but that's the company name, INTPW Thunderbolt 3 Docking Station. And uh, before I talk about the specs and what it has, I just wanna show you that it works, because none of that matters if it doesn't work. Right now, I've got my MacBook uh, Pro. I have the 14-inch uh, with the M1 Max, and uh, it is hooked up to this Thunderbolt station. And then from there, I've got these two displays hooked up to that, as well as a bunch of hard drives and uh, USB mic and peripheral, other peripherals. And so I'm going to pull my desk and I'm going to press my, uh, I've got the magic keyboard. So I'm pressing the little button that activates everything. And you can see right here, this is my display. And you can even see that HDR. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got HDR uh, symbols because this is through DisplayPort 1.4. I'm getting uh, the full uh, 4K at 60 hertz uh, and HDR through DisplayPort 1.4 to both of these monitors. Um, everything works as it should. Uh, I am still uh, getting used to the whole Mac thing. Uh, and this is my Funnel Cut Pro. But you can see uh, this is the screen here. and. You can see I've got everything is there and it's working the way it's supposed to. And that was from a sleep state. That's one of the issues. A lot of the docks, uh, once the things go to sleep or you disconnect and reconnect, it doesn't work. And once I got this set up, it works great. Um, part of that may have to do with uh, you just got to make sure you get all your settings right. But a lot of the docks, it didn't matter what you do. And these are people that have had Macs before and knew what they were doing, whereas I didn't. Uh, but Apparently, even a lot of the expensive docks, even ones that Apple says will work, people are having issues with. Uh, they get sluggish or the mouse wouldn't work or something, but mine's working. Now, just to describe this dock to you, because I have it hooked up, I'm not uh, going to hold it up in my hands, but I'll show you some close-ups so you can see the different ports that it has. It has, uh, uh, on the back, you've got your connecting uh, port to connect your MacBook to, through the Thunderbolt port. Uh, connection to your MacBook that also will provide 60 watts of power so it can uh, provide power to your MacBook as well if you need it to. Uh, then you have an additional Thunderbolt and for me for this setup it has a dis the dock itself has a display port out so I have one display port out going from this dock to this uh, screen and then the dock also has a Thunderbolt out. So then I have a Thunderbolt 2 display port adapter and I used a uh, very important that you use high quality cables. That's the other thing I discovered. If you, you can have a great dock, but if you use low quality cables, it may not work. So I'm using the Maximar uh, adapter, Thunderbolt type C to display port female adapter. And then that's uh, going to this screen. And then I'm using a Cable Matters uh, uh, VESA certified display port cable for out of the display port out, out of the uh, dock. Uh, then besides having uh, that, and that's how you use your displays, the Thunderbolt uh, type C uh, is for the second display and then just the display port that's built into the dock for the first display. And so that's how I got these set up. Uh, and then on the back, it also has the uh, uh, USB 2.0. It has an ethernet uh, adapter so that you can plug in ethernet to get uh, the fastest internet. It has a digital optical audio out. 
Uh, and I am not using that right now, but I, ha I tested that. That works great. Uh, and then you've got your, your plug to your power uh, DC to, to plug it in and where it gets its power from. Then on the front, you've got your audio out, your audio out standard jack, 3.5 millimeter jack. You've got a trans flash and an SD card slot. So I love that you have both and they're separate, so you don't have to use an adapter. If you have a micro SD card, you've got a spot to plug that in. You've got three uh, USB 3.1 uh, ports. Two of them are type C. And then the other one is standard USB, but those are USB 3.1 with 10 gigabits per second speeds. Then you've got two additional uh, standard USB ports that are 3.0, uh, so they get five gigabits per second uh, data transfer. And then you've got an additional uh, USB 2.0 uh, out, which you can use for peripheral or printer. I've got my printer plugged into that or a USB mic or mouse, uh, if you're using a wireless mouse and keyboard and you wanna plug that in there, you can use that. So those are all the ports that come with it. That, that's what I have plugged into this. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, the screen works great. It works through uh, waking up and sleeps. And uh, there are some, one of the things that you'll see a lot of people have issues with with using a dock and a Mac is if you set your Mac to go to sleep, uh, these drives, the Mac wants you to eject them before it goes to sleep. So when you wake back up, you get all these messages about ejecting. Uh, but for me, I just set the Mac just not to go to sleep. Um, I did some research. It doesn't seem like that's a big deal. Uh, but there is also an app called Ejectify, if you want to look that up, uh, that will also help. But anyway, uh, this is a review of this docking station. This is the packaging that it came in. Uh, really great. Uh, INTPW is the, the brand. It does come in this space gray color as well as a black. They have uh, options for both. The outside is like a nice aluminum to help stay cool. It's very solidly built and has all these amazing ports. So you just have one cord going from your MacBook to this and you're able to get this dual display set up, uh, which works great. If you want to use your MacBook screen, you can even have a triple display set up. Uh, uh, so you could do that as well. And then all those ports that go with it. Um, but again, uh, I went through several before I found one that works. Go online and look, you'll see a lot of people are having a lot of headaches. This one works, uh, it's worked for me. So I would highly recommend it. And uh, it's much, much more affordable than most of the ones that are out there that don't even actually work. And this one works. So uh, I would say look no further, go out and get it. It works great. Definitely a product that I would recommend. And that is going to be it for this review. Uh, I just wanted to get this information out to people so people could know that there is a Thunderbolt dock that works with the MacBook Pros, um, the M1 Pro and M1 Max to allow you to do uh, wonderful dual displays uh and it works great that definitely a product that i would recommend that is going to be it for this review uh, please click that like button subscribe to my channel to keep up with future product reviews uh if you have a question post it below i'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as i can and uh yeah that's going to be it until next time so be safe and be happy